What's up guys, Left the Rice Digger again with another Little Big Planet team pick review. We've got some really pretty looking levels this week. Uh, first off we start off with The Hungry Ghoul by Zed Kokoza. It's got really nice sort of atmosphere throughout the whole level, sort of like a sort of semi-silhouette kind of level. And you're basically supposedly a hungry ghoul, which have got some new powers. I kind of like the look of the sort of instructions on how to do it but it actually wasn't all too clear exactly how what you do with it and the whole level although it looks beautiful and it's actually got some you know nice the, the actual dashing mechanic is actually quite smooth and everything there's just something that I feel lacks in this level for some reason I think maybe because we just there's too much of using this power up it felt a little bland I felt like maybe there could be more elements to the power or something the sort of story is kind of neat in sort of the way it's been laid out but there's it sort of story seems a bit lacking in terms of what it tried to do it tried to portray a story but it didn't seem to quite really you know, actually get told that well but anyways there's actually lots of collectibles in this level what's really cool about this um, level by Zekutoza is that there's actually sort of a grading system for how well you do you, that does translate to points, but it's sort of how many collectibles that you can collect and how many deaths you have um, makes your score. And actually, what's really annoying about it, I guess from the second playthrough, the first playthrough might take a little time to get used to the whole dashing mechanic, it's quite smooth and really nice. Maybe dash too far, but it's really, really short. The whole level is actually very short, which is a bit a disappointment, I guess. It's just something that I feel lacking about the level, but it's beautiful and the gameplay would be nice, I guess. And then next we have Bank Heist by Known to Kill, another very, very beautiful level. The menu is just outstanding. The animations in this in this menu are really cool. And it's just, there's nothing else apart from I can say about it that is just amazing to look at. But then when we come to the actual gameplay, I mean, it's sort of a nice gameplay. I actually like that we can use both the uh, D-pad as well as the analog stick. Um, I don't quite like that bubble, like the points bubble at the top left stays there and might be hidden by the local Plan 3 logo here. But, and I feel like, you know, the score system should be shown in a different way. But I really like the aesthetic of this sort of bolt that you're, you're sort of trying to avoid. And it's quite nice that there's a sort of a set, I think it's three blinks and then the laser comes on so it's quite, you, know, you can actually plan ahead, which is very good. Um, the only issue I guess is sort of I wouldn't say difficulty progression is too slow, it's just that some bits, uh, it does get boring very very quick because there's no sort of, there's no change, there's no change up. The only real change up is that lasers come faster and uh, sort of get more of the money or gold bars to collect. Um, apart from that, I feel like there should be some, again, it's still something that's lacking in this level. I feel like there should be some other element apart from just moving left and right to sort of avoid the lasers because it, it does get very stale very quickly and in some you know some points I literally could just put the controller down go you know come to escape make it to you and come back and I'll still be fine uh, but I really like the whole court section as well at the end but it's a really nice level just something lacking again in uh, the bank heist but finally we have two layers by Super K96 so this is one where gameplay definitely wasn't really lacking much because I really like this whole going to different layers um, to actually use the platform mode. So it's actually really cool this. Um, it's, you don't even use three layers, you actually use two layers. And uh, so that's actually really nice, even though, you know, obviously the actual background and sort of aesthetic actually requires more than two layers. But it's great how we how Super K96 actually used the layers to an advantage. You have to switch between the two to actually avoid obstacles, which is pretty cool. And there's actually quite a good variety of different obstacles that uses it in different ways. So it keeps the whole going back and forth layer quite um, refreshing and quite fresh throughout the whole level. You're not just stuck on you know one sort of way of using it, even though it is just going back into different layers. He's done it quite well in terms of actually working obstacles around that which is really nice and it does have quite a simplistic look to it but it works it works for the level so unlike the other two levels we had in this week's team pick you know the aesthetic is not quite as flashy but it you know it gels with the, the gameplay available whereas the other two sort of had really amazing set aesthetics but there's something felt lacking in terms of the gameplay 
but I really like this. I also like the use of like how it uses staring to go back and forth uh, in this level as well by Super K96. So this is actually a very nice team pick. I really enjoyed this one. I probably enjoyed this one the most in terms of playing and then the other two were just obviously much better looking. But let me know in the comments below what do you think about these team picks. Join me on Discord, we can chat about it more, we'll discuss in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. You click that like button and subscribe, become a subscriber for more team pick reviews in Little Big Planet and other Little Big Planet level showcases. 